counting down the top 10 most memorable innings in West Indies cricket history. Are you ready to relive the magic? Let's do it together. Coming in at number 10 is Gordon Greenwich, 214 versus England at Lords, 1984. Situation was chasing 342 on the final day, an opposition bowling attack. Bob Willis and Ian Botham. Gordon Greenwich and beaten 214 at Lords in 1984 stands as one of the most audacious innings in Test cricket, particularly under a chase scenario. On what was expected to be a sedate final day, Greenwich transformed the game into a spectacle of dominance, battling a chronic knee injury. Greenwich managed to conjure a range of strokes that not only battled the English bowlers, but also carried the West Indies to an improbable victory. His innings was marked by ruthless precision and resilience, redefining the art of the chase in test cricket. His performance also set the tone for what would become a black wash as the West Indies went on to dominate the series 5-0. So definitely one of the greatest innings in West Indies cricket history. 214 not out by Gordon Greenwich comes in at number 10 for us. Coming in at number nine is Sir Frank Worrell's 261 versus England, Trent Bridge, 1950. Situation establishing dominance in a series opener. Opposition bowling attack, Alec Betzer and Trevor Bailey. Worrell's 261 at Trent Bridge laid the foundation for what would be the first series win by West Indies in England. In an innings characterized by grace and fluidity, Worrell's partnership with Weeks and Walcott, famously known as the three W's, demoralized the English attack. His innings was not just a display of skill, but a statement against racial barriers, proving pivotal in gaining respect for Caribbean cricketers globally. His innings helped set a new narrative for cricket, one that highlighted the emergence of West Indies as a powerhouse in world cricket. So definitely one of the most impactful innings by Sir Frank Worrell comes in at number nine for us. Before we move on to number eight, I want to bring you guys the first quiz question of the evening against which nation did Courtney Walsh take his highest innings wicket haul seven for 30? seven drop your answers into the comments let us know what you guys think the answer is and we'll drop the answer a little later into the video coming in at number eight is lawrence rose 302 versus england bridgetown 1974 situation solidifying a strong total in the first innings opposition bowling attack tony Gregg, jeff arnold Derek underwood rose 302 in bridgetown is celebrated not only for the volume of runs but for the elegance and ease with which they were scored known for his silky smooth batting style rose triple century was a blend of classic drives and deft cuts battling severe allergies and asthma conditions throughout his career rose ability to produce such an innings under physical duress is a testament to his skill and mental fortitude his performance remains one of the most visually pleasing innings in cricket history a perfect harmony of technical prowess and aesthetic beauty definitely one of the best innings in west indian cricket history lawrence rose 302 comes in at number eight for us coming in at number seven is brian lara's 153 versus australia Bridgetown 1999 situation chasing 308 in a tightly contested series and the opposition bowling attack Glenn McGrath, Shane Warren, Jason Gillespie. Lars 153 against Australia in Bridgetown is often hailed as the greatest fourth inning knock ever facing one of the most formidable bowling attacks. Lara orchestrated a near impossible chase on a deteriorating pitch. His mastery over spin and pace coupled with strategic partnerships with lower order batsmen showcased a master class in batting under pressure. Lara's innings not only only snatched victory from the jaws of defeat, but also reinstated his position as one of the greatest batsmen of all time, underlining his prowess in high stakes situations. One of the top innings often considered by Brian Lara his entire career because of the chase and the situation of the game for us lands here at number seven. Let us know in the comments of what your top 10 innings would be as well. We would love to know what your memorable West Indies cricket innings are. So drop them into the comments. Would love to build on these top 10 with you guys into the comments. Coming in at number six is Chris Gales, 333 versus Sri Lanka in Gaul 2010. Situation dominating the first innings in subcontinental conditions against the likes of Mataya Murlidharan, Ajanta Mendes, Sharanga Lakmal. Gales 333 in Gaul stands as one of the highest test scores by an overseas player in Sri Lanka. Known for his explosive batting and limited overs cricket, Gale demonstrated his ability to adapt and excel in the test format as well. His innings was a perfect combination of aggression and patience, facing over 437 balls and hitting 34 fours and nine sixes. Gale's performance not only dominated the Sri Lankan bowlers, but also silenced critics who questioned his temperament for the longer format, making
making it as one of the most defining innings of his career. One of the best innings in West Indian cricket history by Chris Gale, 333. And let's not forget, he scored two triple centuries as well. So this is the one that I added into our top 10. Let us know in the comments what you guys think of these picks so far. And again, we would love to know what memorable innings you guys remember. So drop your memorable innings into the comments. Before we move on to number five, I want to give you guys the answer to that first quiz question that we brought up earlier. The quiz question was against which nation did Courtney Walsh take his highest innings wicket hall seven for 37. The answer to this question is New Zealand. Walsh took his best innings figures when the West Indies played New Zealand in Wellington in 1995, and he ended up with 13 wickets in that match. So it was a great performance by Courtney Walsh. I hope you guys got this answer correct. Also, be sure to check out our links in the description. Check out the Reverse Scoop shop where we support youth cricket development at the grassroots level. Also, if you want to create content like this, we use StreamYard on air. I've put a link in the description where you can get a discounted price if you guys purchase through those links. So definitely check out the tech stack links check out the reverse goof shop coming in at number five is brian lars 375 versus england this was a time when he broke the record of sir gary sobers the situation was personal redemption and record setting bowling attacks angus fraser chris lewis andy caddick brian lars 375 against england was more than just a world record it was a poetic statement of his batting philosophy coming at a time when lara was under scrutiny for his form this innings was a blend of flair rhythm and monumental endurance his ability to pace the innings with exquisite boundaries turned the Antiguan recreation ground into a theater of cricket. Lara broke the then world record, as I mentioned, for the highest individual test score, an achievement that would define his legacy and inspire a generation of cricketers. And again, he broke that record that lasted for over 36 years by Sir Gary Sobers, one of the most impactful innings in cricket history, 375 by Brian Lara. And again, it came at a time of when he needed to perform. He was really out of form and under scrutiny and came up with the goods and scoring a 375 and shutting his critics. Before we move on to number four, I want to bring you guys the second quiz question of the evening. The second quiz question, which West Indian was the first spin bowler to take 300 test wickets? Let us know in the comments who you guys think the answer is to this. I think most of you guys should be able to get this answer. So I want to know in the comments if you guys know this. So definitely let us know and we'll drop the answer shortly. Coming in at number four for me is Clive Lloyd's 102 versus Australia 1975 World Cup final Lloyd and a situation building a competitive total in a World Cup final. Opposition bowling attack, Dennis Lilly, Jeff Thompson, Gary Gilmore, crazy bowling lineup, and Clive Lloyd's century in the first ever World Cup final was a masterclass in big match temperament. His 102 from just 85 balls propelled West Indies to a formidable total, setting the stage for their eventual victory. Lloyd's inning was marked by aggressive hitting and strategic acumen, taking on Australia's fearsome pace attack with confidence and authority this knock not only secured West Indies' place in cricket history, but also exemplified Lloyd's leadership and vision for the Caribbean cricket, establishing the West Indies as a dominant force in one-day format. So definitely one of the most impactful and most memorable innings in West Indies cricket history was this 102 by Clive Lloyd, which led to the World Cup win, their first World Cup win. Let's not forget that. What a leader, what a captain, and what a knock. 102 by Clive Lloyd comes in at number four for us. Coming in at Number three is Sir Garfield Sobers 365 versus Pakistan. Kingston 1958 situation, establishing a mammoth first inning lead. Bowling attack, Fuzzle Mahmood, Khan Mohammed. Sir Garfield Sobers 365 not out, not only broke the world record for the highest individual test score at the time, but also exemplified his sheer dominance with the bat. This innings filled with classic drives and innovative shots displayed Sobers' complete batting repertoire. His partnership with Conrad Hunt, where they added over 400 runs decimated the Pakistani bowling attack. This innings was not just a personal milestone, but also a pivotal moment in test cricket, highlighting the evolution of batting in the post-war era. Sober's record stood for nearly 36 years, underlining the magnitude of his achievement and again was broken by Brian Charles Lara 375 that we discussed earlier. I rank this innings higher because of the impact again on West Indies cricket. One of the great innings of West Indies 
Cricket by Sir Garfield Sobers, 365 not out, comes in at number three for us. Coming in at number two is Vivian Richards, 189 versus England, Manchester, 1984, rescuing a collapsing innings in an ODI. Bowling attack, Neil Foster, Paul Allett, and Sir Ian Botham. Sir Vivian Richards, 189 not out in an ODI against England, is wildly regarded as one of the greatest one-day innings of all time. With West Indies crumbling at 102 for seven, Richards played an innings of incredible power and precision, single-handedly dragging his team to defendable total. His not included a staggering 21 boundaries and five sixes, showcasing his ability to dominate and demoralize the opposition bowling attack. This inning not only demonstrated Richard's skill and aggression, but also his ability to perform under pressure, securing a near impossible victory for his team. Again, still regarded as one of the greatest ODI innings of all time. One of the best ever to do it. Sir Vivian Richards, 189, not out, comes in at number two for us. Before we move on to number one, I'm going to give you guys the answer to that quiz question we brought up earlier. The quiz question was, who was the first West Indies spin bowl to take 300 test wickets. Answer, I've already brought it up, was Lance Gibbs. Gibbs was the last West Indian spinner before the great pace battery of the 70s and 80s came onto the scene to take 300 test wickets. That's the answer. Hope you guys got this right. For number one, I want to play a game with you guys. I want to let you guys guess into the comments who you guys think this innings is by and what innings it is, where it was scored. Let us know what innings this is, and I will give you guys the description and drop the answer right at the end of the description. So I hope you guys get this and let's play this guessing game on number one this inning in antigua not just the highest score in test cricket but a monumental display of batting endurance skill and determination coming in a series where the west indies had been outplayed this marathon innings over two days reasserted this player status as one of the game's all-time greats facing an informed English attack. This player meticulously built his innings, blending caution with aggression. His 582 ball epic included 43 fours and four sixes. Each run cheered on by a home crowd witnessing history. This innings not only reclaimed the record this player had set a decade earlier, but also served as a reminder of his unparalleled talent and legacy in cricket. I'm sure you guys know the answer to this question. It was the 400 not out by Brian Charles Lara. If you guys enjoyed these rankings, I'm sure you guys will love the top 10 West Indies batsmen of all time right here on the screen. Make sure to check it out. Have a great night.